Hey guys, it's Jen from iCreate Crafts. Are you looking for an easy but thoughtful teacher gift? Well, look no further. I will show you how to customize and create these beautiful coffee mugs for your child's favorite teacher. I will leave all my supplies in the description below. These are so cute yet very inexpensive to make and you can make quite a few of them without breaking the bank. So let's get started making these adorable teacher coffee mugs. I'm starting with these SVG files that I bought from Design Bundles. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in using them. So let's get started with this. So I have these that I really liked. It came with a whole bunch of them. I bought a lot of them with a whole bunch of them in it, but these were the ones that I really liked that really stood out to me. One thing I do love with Design Bundles is the side here. You can see that you can change any color of these files, which is amazing. Some of the ones that I buy from Etsy, They'll come as one whole group and there's no way to detach them unless you go into the contour button and go that way. So I really love it that sometimes they give you the option that you can undo each one of them. So I'm going to show you really quick ones here. So I'm going to start with this chaos coordinator. I did a video on making one of these uh, with a bag and then I also did one for a little makeup bag or a little pencil bag. So go back and check that out if you're looking for more teacher ideas. But starting with this one, I like to change the color up a little bit. Maybe have chaos coordinator one color and then the arrow with the heart another color. So all you got to do is select it, go up here to the ungroup button, and then that will ungroup all this for you. So you can see here as I'm clicking, all of these letters are individual. So if I was going to go cut it out right now, it would cut all this out and then it'll just be a big mess. So one thing you want to do really quick is actually select the whole word and then go down here to your attach button. Then that will change it where everything will cut out the way it looks. So it will, it will cut out the way it says coordinator instead of being a big mess. And it's already done with the chaos one here so I don't have to do anything with it. So I want to take both of these wordings and change the color. So I'm going to go up here I'm going to pick this light pink color, and I'm also going to change this one here. So I'm going to maybe go up here and change it to a purple color. So now that I changed the color with these, I just want to change the size. So I'm using a mug that I bought from the dollar store, and I figured my image will be a 3x3. Three three. So I'm going to select both of these, and I'm going to go up here and change the size. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to change it to be 3. Normally I would unlock it and do a 3x3, three three, but sometimes it's skewed that way. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. If I unlock it, it's not going to skew it. It's not going to make it look bad. So I'm going to leave it the way that it is right now. So it's going to be a 3 by 2.658 and that is fine with me. It does not have to be a 3 by 3. One other thing with this is I want chaos coordinators to cut out um, together. So if I cut it out now it would be chaos and then like on the next line it'll be coordinator. I would like them both to cut out the way that they are now. But one other thing I'd like to do is actually go up here to the align button and center it. So I could tell it was off a little bit. So now I centered it. Now I wanna go down to the attach button down here and I'm going to attach it all together. And also one other quick tip that I learned along the way of using Cricut is when you have things like this that are connected together like this, your Cricut will cut out little lines here on each piece. So I always go down to the weld button and I push the weld. So that's telling Cricut to cut it out as one whole piece and these are not separated. So it's gonna cut it out exactly as you see it. And then this is going to cut out this purple color. So you want to go to the next one. I'm going to do this one. I love my students. I think that's cute. I think any teacher would love to have this. But for this one, I think I'm going to leave it all one color. My favorite uh, vinyl is the holographic vinyl. So if you haven't tried holographic vinyl out, I highly, highly suggest it. I love it so much. So the only thing I'm going to do with this is go ahead and push the weld button so that the same thing here, so it doesn't have a little cut in each part where the new letter comes, it's going to cut out exactly as you see it. So now all I have to do is change change the size. I'm not going to unlock it again, but I'm going to change mine to a three. So as long as it doesn't go over a three by four or four by four, I'm okay. So the other thing I'm doing is just change the color. So we're just going to pick this yellowish color. And sometimes, you know, when I use my HTV, I never really figure out what color I want to use until I see it. So I'm just changing it this. It doesn't mean you have to use a yellow. It's just in your mind, you know that it's going to be different than this one. So I'm going to go to the next one really quick. I'll show you one more. 
So for this one, I'm thinking I want to have I teach in humans a different color rather than have tiny a different color in here. So to do that, I'm going to click on group and then I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to select both of these and uh, weld it together. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Oh, it already is. You can see it's welded already, so I don't have to worry about it. So now I have to go in here and select tiny. Whoops. I'm going to get move this actually. Now I'm going to select tiny and all those little lines there as well and I'm going to push weld. So that's going to cut out one whole piece like that as well. So now I have three different pieces but I want the tiny to be a different color. So with tiny selected I'm going to go up to the color box and I'm going to do like this blue color and I want these two to be the same color. So I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to actually hold down my command button. I have a Mac computer, so mine might be different than yours. So I'm holding down the command button and then I'm clicking the left mouse button. So that selects the humans and I teach. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So if I go to the color box and I change it to be this red color, you can see it says I teach and humans are red and then the tiny is as blue. So this one is done as well. I'm gonna put this one down here. So I'm just gonna do, you know, one more I'm going to just change the color on this one as well just to have it cut out for me. So I'm not going to take one from the color box up top because these are ones that I'm already using. I'm going to choose a different color that I can use a different uh, vinyl for it. So again, you want to go up and change your size. I'm going to change it to three. And that is it. And well, actually, I'm going to push weld just because of that thing what I told you before that it cuts out like this. So I'm going to leave those. I'm actually going to get rid of these top ones here so I can show you what it looks like when I push make it. So now it's selecting and changing all of my colors of my mat. I'm not really sure what this black one is. It shows a little dot here. So I'm not sure what that is. I must have missed something somewhere. So here is the um, red ones that I need. The I teach and the member the tiny goes here and then humans. So I'm going to put that a little bit closer that I can cut it out. And here's chaos coordinators. I love my students, teaching future leaders, and then here's the tiny that's going to go with the first one. So again, I'm not sure what this black one is. I missed a, missed a little button somewhere, so we're going to skip that one. So I'm going to go to the continue button, and I'm going to show you which setting that I use. And most of these are going to be the holographic vinyl. So I choose this one. It's a vinyl premium premium vinyl holographic. So this is in my base materials. I found it in here by clicking the browse all materials and then you can just find whichever ones you use the most and put a little star by it. So that's where I got this one from. So when I'm using the holographic vinyl, I'll use this. When I'm using the regular vinyl, I'll just use this ven uh, vinyl stencil vinyl. So I'm going to click on this one. And then I'm going to skip the first one because I'm not sure why that came up, but I'm going to start with this one. And I'm not going to choose red. I'm going to choose a different color HTV. I'm sorry. I'm going to use a different color for the holographic vinyl. But I think actually I'm going to cut all of these out in holographic. So if you were going to cut this one out as holographic and then this one was regular vinyl, you would just want to go up here, click on this, and then change it to stencil vinyl. Just so your Cricut knows how hard and how much pressure to put on it. So I'm going to start with this one, and then I'm going to cut it all out, I'll weed it out, and then I'll show you guys the next step. Alright guys, so I said I was going to go ahead and weed this, but I'm going to show you guys this. I've been getting some people saying they missed the weeding process, so I'm going to show you really quick. So the first tip I'm going to give you right here is even though it's a small piece, if I peel this up, it's going to make my vinyl curl up. So instead of pulling the vinyl up, what I like to do actually is take my vinyl, or take my mat, put it upside down and then curl the mat instead of the vinyl and then that just helps the vinyl come off easier and then it's not all curled up. So I'm going to put the mat away and then I'm going to show you guys what I use to weed. So this is what I use to weed. Um, I buy these at Harbor Freight. I think it's $3.99, $2.99 for six of them and they are amazing. Sometimes they do go dull up here. Sometimes the little part up here curls over too much. But you know, for pennies on the dollar for these compared to the Cricut ones, I'd rather buy these. So this is what I use for my weeding. And then this is the holographic vinyl that I'm using. I absolutely love this stuff. If you're interested in it, I will leave the link below. And because I have such a large spot here, I'm actually going to save the rest of this vinyl here for another project. Maybe I can cut one out the same size as this. So basically all you want to do is just take your weeder, go up in the top corner, or wherever. I like to stop, start in the top corner, and then just pull 
easily down and it's just removing all the excess vinyl that you don't need. Perfect, just like that. And you wanna go in with your little weeder and just go through all the little spots in here. I know there's people out there who have little fancy things to put their extra weeding stuff on. I just use my finger. <laughs> what do you guys use? Do you, use, do you guys use those fancy things or you just use your fingers? My finger works just fine for me. That's what I've been using. And then I can just easily throw it away. But this is all I do. I'm just going in to each one of these little pieces here. I think that one came off already. Just like that. And it is that simple. So here it is. It's all finished now. It's all, all done weeding. And I'm just going to take the extra pieces and put it on the big piece that I had over here. And then I'm just going to continue. I'm going to show you. This is the mug that I bought. I buy these from the dollar store. And you want to make sure that you clean them. I did clean them already. You want to clean them with alcohol and let it dry before you go ahead and put your file on. So mine's cleaned. Mine's dry already. So this is the size that I have. So this is why I chose the 3x3 three three or a little bit bigger is to fit on here perfectly. So you have to figure out if you want it left-handed or right-handed. I always do things right-handed just because I'm right-handed and... Um, I seem to think a lot more people are right-handed, so I'll put it on this side. So it always depends what hand you want it in, so you always want to use the front side. So again, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use the front right here. So my ladle, or <laughs> handle, oh my gosh, handle goes on this side. So I'm just going to take some transfer tape, and I'm so running out of this stuff. I just bought more from Amazon. I love this stuff. Somebody just asked me what kind of transfer tape to use. I leave everything in the description below so you can check that out. This is just the, I think it's called Fisker, um, but it's amazing. I heard that other transfer tapes leave like a sticky residue or don't stick well enough. I love this stuff. I used to get this stuff from the dollar store, but after a while, I was getting some kind of residue on it. I don't know if they changed their, like, chemicals on it or something, but I really did not like that. So I changed to this. It's huge, but it goes a long, long way. So I'm just going to find my end again. Now what I like to do before I just cut the piece out is I just lay it right over my file, and then I don't have to waste so much. I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut right around this. And I know I'm using <laughs> little kid scissors. <laughs> Sometimes my girls take my scissors from me, even in my craft room. So I am stuck with little tiny scissors. But this is all that I use. And then I either have a scraper or a new thing that I just bought is this. I'm not sure exactly sure what this is called. It's just a little roller. And you just roll it. Just like that. It's so much easier than the scraper. So you're just going over it like this. Um, I, again, I'm not really sure what this is called. It is the Cricut brand. I did buy this off of Amazon and it's amazing, but I'll show you. So another trick I have for you if you're new to this is I flip my transfer over and I work backwards. So I make sure that everything comes off in one piece. So here we go. I will give you guys another tip. So if you don't have, if you have a coffee mug that's wider at the top and gets smaller down at the bottom, kind of harder to put files on it so you just want to snip it on the edges everywhere. I'm not going to do it for this one because I don't need it but you just snip the edges and then it will go on a lot easier. So again you want a nice clean surface just use some alcohol and then let it dry and then you have to figure out where you want to put it. You don't want to put it too far next to the handle because you know when you're drinking you want to be right in the middle. So I'm just going to find the middle here and I'm just centering it with the bottom and I absolutely love these cups because it is one full size. I think these are, let's see if it says, the 14 ounces. It doesn't say on here, but this is microwave safe and dishwasher safe. But because this is vinyl, I would highly suggest not putting this in the dishwasher or the microwave. Definitely do not do that. I know you can if you are doing sublimination, but for vinyl, please do not put it in the dishwasher or the microwave. You will melt it. So we're just going to push this on here really well. And then once you get on, you just want to take the corner and then gently peel off. Oh, I love this, and I love this color. 
It's like a red iridesc iridescent color. It's absolutely beautiful. So here it is. So I love my students. So I have the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and do the same process for this and then I will show you what it looks like. But again, that's for the right handers. So when you're, when you're drinking with your right hand, people can see what this says. So I'm going to finish these up and then I'll show you what the rest of them look like. Alright guys, I am finished with these coffee mugs. I absolutely love how they turned out. I did use the holographic vinyl and I love holographic vinyl. If you haven't used it, I would highly, highly suggest using it and trying it out. Um, but I love how these turned out. I just used the dollar store coffee mugs and some holographic vinyl and it took me about 10 minutes from start to finish. It was so simple to do and I absolutely love giving things as gifts. So I wanted to just show you guys a quick and easy tutorial. I hope you like this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and you can also go back and check out all of my other teacher gifts that I created. Happy crafting everyone!